February is heart month and CPR or cardiopulmonary resuscitation can save lives. It's a technique that's useful in many emergencies such as a heart attack or near drowning, but do we know how to do it? It could be a year since you learned how to do it, maybe you've forgotten, but today we're gonna learn hands only CPR with Dave Tate from the Bellevue Fire Department. Thanks so much for being here with us uh, again this hour. Uh, simple, right? Some Anybody can learn how to do this. That's correct. And so <clears throat> if, uh, if someone goes into cardiac arrest, the first thing you want to do is tap and shout and determine okay. if they are in fact unresponsive. So ask, um, yep. verbally are you say, okay? are you okay? Are you okay? That's correct. And then you're going to have 911 called. Okay, and Christopher, call 911. You would tell someone nearby. Okay, yep. get a defibrillator. Get a defibrillator coming. And then at that point, you're going to determine, are they breathing normally? Okay. Well, oftentimes, people will gasp or retch or something when they're in cardiac that's arrest. That does not count. Okay. Uh, and if that's the case, you're going to start compression. So okay. you're going to put your hand in the center of the chest, okay. other hand on top of the first. Okay. Lock your elbows out. Okay. You're going to push down two inches hard and fast at a rate of at least 100 times per minute. In the past, we've used the BG staying alive as a baseline rhythm for this. Right. Um, but you want to be at least 100 times per minute like that. Okay. And you might feel some popping, some cracking, that sort of thing. Right. You're not hurting That's them. That's okay. It's okay. Okay. Just keep going until 911 responders arrive and take over for you. Now, you showed me to do hands only CPR, and I'm just checking for breathing. Why isn't breathing a part of CPR anymore, part of what you would do to help somebody? It's a great question. One of the things that we found over time is that. Uh, when a patient goes into cardiac arrest, they have enough oxygen in their bloodstream that mm -hmm. for the first five minutes, we just need to pump that around to keep okay. the brain cells alive and keep the heart going. Uh, and then the responders can take over when they get there to provide that oxygen. A lot right. of people are hesitant to put their mouths on the patient. Right. They're worried about infectious disease, all those kinds of things. Uh, something is far better than nothing and compressions are showing to be very, very effective. Okay, that makes sense. I think that's that might have slowed down people from uh, considering to take a class. Classes are kind of available everywhere and year round. Absolutely. So the Bellevue Fire Department provides free classes for CPR. Uh, the Medic One Foundation and that link is mediconefoundation.org has links to other agencies as well and they provide free CPR classes. So please uh, strongly consider signing up and joining us in a class. You'll learn adult, child, infant CPR. There's a few differences there. Uh, how to use a defibrillator and then typically how to relieve choking, foreign body airway obstruction. And earlier in the show, we talked about the Pulse Alert app and you can be connected to that if you know CPR and we could be here in the studio and someone around the corner could could be in, in need of CPR and you could respond to that. How crucial is that and, and life-saving can that be for someone? Absolutely, so it is, it is absolutely crucial. If you imagine someone in cardiac arrest right around the corner and we're trained to do CPR and we don't know that they're laying out there right. needing help, those minutes are gonna go by and their chance of survival is gonna decrease dramatically. So once you learn how to do CPR, download the Pulse Point app register with the agencies that you want to follow. It also has a roaming mode, so it keeps track of where you are, mm -hmm. and mark that you want to be notified for cardiac arrest, and it'll let you know when this comes in. You respond, it'll give you directions to the patient. It'll also point out where the closest defibrillators are that you've learned how to use, uh, so you can direct someone to get that for you or grab it yourself. Uh, and you can get out there and save somebody's life. Amazing, thank you so much for being with us. Dave Tate with the Bellevue Fire Department for American Heart Month, good reminders and good things for all of us to learn to help our community members. Thank you. Thanks so much, we'll be right back.